you know what? I can see why this is a, a fan favourite. Can I make an order for collection, please? The rising cost of living is going to affect us all, but none of us are going to want to sacrifice on life's little gems. Reselling is your answer. Aftermarket arbitrage are helping people get hold of rare items just like these kicks, where there's over £900 profit. Not bad at all. Break away from that nine to five single income with the side hustles of all side hustle. Aftermarket arbitrage. Well, hello, mate. How are you? Not bad, how are you? Pug shoots in the house. Right, bro, I've got you a drink. Oh. After Joe McGrath showed me up the other day, I thought I'd better look at. Oh, yeah, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Hold big, on, up, big up, Joe. Big up, Joe. He made me look so bad. Save me half a sandwich. <laughs> I don't, Callum. You'll have a, you'll have a GoFundMe uh, started for you. Right. I'll put the link in the bio. Callum's GoFundMe. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. We're in Northampton at Nick's place. Uh, look at this. Why are we sat here? Do you need any? Do you need to know anything else? Award-winning fish and chips. Um, I've got to admit, mate, looks good. Looks good. Yeah. That curry sauce. Oh dear, that looks. That looks, just looks different. Looks like. A, they look runny. This looks like Coke. <laughs> here we go. Now, what do you want, Callum? You choose. Uh, DC, please. <laughs> Thank you. Right, drink watch. <laughs> Seven, I'm gonna wet the whistle first. Ladies and gents, if you're new here, hello. Nice to see you, nice to see you on the page. We go around trying to uncover those hidden gems through the hotspots, uh, specialising in fast food takeaways, all the sort of yummy food that, that we all know and love. Uh, fish and chips, pizzas, burgers. Kebabs, Kebabs of course. <laughs> Fried chicken. Right. Now, Callum. Here we go. Large cod, chips, with a slice of lemon, salt and vinegar all over it. That cod's hiding. Yeah, can you not see the cod? Yeah. Let me uh, uncover the cod a little bit. There, there we is. have it, look. Yeah. This was um first place we saw on Google as the top place, wasn't it, Gallimard? Yeah, it's one of first the First place we saw as the top place. God, God. Next place. All the places. So you found it. Yes. 400 odd, five star reviews. Award winning, yep. Northampton's finest, apparently. But of course we can open it up to the uh, the shop floor. Is it the best? I'd like to know. First impressions, Callum. Come on, we're all foodies. We've all got an opinion. I think those chips look bloody yummy. They do look like nice chips. I've got like gnarly looking Little crunchy ones. off cuts and like the, the reject ones, which, oh yeah, I love. And we've got a really nice cut on them. They look kind of clean and crisp, but at the same time, nicely done. Oh, nice M6. Good work. Let's have a look at the cooking. Fluffy inside. It's just a wonderful chip. Luckily for us right now, we're sat just outside Potato Heaven, the Fens. Best chips in, best chips in the world. I thought someone stacked it then. Best chips in the world, facts. I don't know where these are from, but they are delicious. Okay. What? Is that gravy? No, it's, the curry, it's curry sauce. That looks like gravy. Smells like a hybrid of the both. Gravy curry sauce. You must be the only person to drink curry sauce. It's definitely curry sauce. Wow. Definitely homemade. It's not your bog standard, is it? That's a great flavour. Look at this. So it's got it's got onions in there, we've got herbs, spices, seasoning, little oh. chunky bits of onion in there, maybe some celery. And It does taste a bit like gravy as well. 
It's like a spicy curry gravy. <laughs> Let's see what it tastes like with the chip. There we go. Are you ready, bruv? Of course, if you're watching this now and you think that you live near one of the best fish and chip shops around, please tag him in the video. You are looking at the comments. Everyone loves a fish and chip shop, don't they? Here we go, one more. It's the, it's the pride of England, isn't it? Pride of Britain. So. Right, that curry sauce. Certainly different. Is it my favourite? I don't yeah. think so. But is it nice? Yeah, it's really tasty. A little bit runny and a little bit, a little bit too much like gravy for me. A bit beefy, oh. a bit. Yeah, all right, cool. But this is what we've come for, mate. This is a large cod. Let me pick it up, so have a look at it. Ooh. Very wet underneath. It's stuck. But it's quite a fat piece, which I asked for. And as the long-term followers will know on the page, now, do you know what? It's kind of half and half. It's got some sort of crowning happening on top, small air bubbles, but at the same time, it is the thick style casing batter, which is tasty, but it does hold, does hold a bit of oil. Not my favorite. However, it does taste all right. You're not gonna send it back. If you're hungry enough, you just chow, chow on down and enjoy it. But look, we're here for the best. That's what we set out to do. I wanted to try a bit of curry sauce with that. And do you know what? I can see why this is a, a fan favorite. Unique, traditional looking shop. Very, very friendly team. Great chips, very reliable service, no doubt. All the fish was cooked to order. Minimal weight, to be fair, little, probably five minutes, Callum, was it? Yeah, five minutes. Five minutes, if that, but if, it's, if you're cooking, if they're cooking it fresh, you don't mind. And 12 quid for large chip. And curry sauce. Yeah. Not bad. And a drink. Um, a bit oily, look. My fingers there. Yeah. See that oil? Yeah. That's a mark for me of something that keeps it out of my red zone, you know, my hot zone. Look. I am in training now for my fight. I don't know who I'm fighting yet, but. Someone. To be announced. All I know is that I want it to be a big, ugly, strong, hard heavyweight. We'll see how we get on. No fear, Callum. <laughs> All right. Better stop eating now. I've had too much already. Um, one more chip. I saw one that I like the look of. All right, time for a score. I think this ticks a lot of the boxes that I was hoping for. Other than that tiny last piece of finesse with the fish. Curry sauce was unique, not my favorite, I'll be honest. Fish was delicious, but a little bit oily. Batter was not quite my style, but I know there's people out there that prefer it like that, so fair's fair. Another thing I want to address now on the page is, before I give you the score, is times are tough for takeaways and stuff at the moment. So we are, I know people have noticed we're only doing Sort of good scores at the moment. We are purposely trying our hardest to only visit uh, places that have been very recommended to us. And if there is something we don't like about it, we're trying to be as classy and as respect respectful as possible. I think that's very important at the moment. Went to a, a burger shop today who are paying five and a half thousand pound a month in electricity bills. We don't want. I don't want to be the giving anyone any more negative feedback at the moment. It just doesn't feel right, doesn't feel on point. So respectfully guys, just trying to find those great spots for you at the moment. I hope that's okay. It's not, now's not the time to be bashing people. Um, 
However, this is yummy. Um, I think this is a, a 7.8. Mm -hmm. Good score, very tasty. Slightly misses out on the eights and the nines for me because of the batter, but worth coming to try? I think so, just for that current kind of sauce. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you're new here, remember to like and subscribe. If you haven't already, follow us on Instagram and on TikTok. We've got some different content going on over there. Callum's behind the camera. I'm in front of it. And that, ladies and gents, was a review. See us big daddy B pugs and Matt on a mission To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen Different places, different flavours, try different things Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?